Hello, Jonathan the Brady, and, Andrew the Plants, I know, you don't have to tell me, your bus is coming in like 15 minutes, I got time. Nope. It's coming in 5 minutes. Holy hell, at least I have a little time, anyways, I pack you a lunch Jonathan, it's okay, your bus is coming in 3 and a half minutes anyways. What the hell dude, you pack me a roll of dirt on bread, this is homeless food, not rich food you idiot, at least I have a banana and dirty coke. Crap, my apology Jonathan, you see, I'm broke, I have no money for better food, do you remember, I spent on your birthday, and Valentine's Day, ooh, I got an idea. How about AIDS? No, I don't want AIDS, I want cheeseburger. Not AIDS. Well too bad, you just have to suck it, AIDS or don't. No AIDS. Excuse me sir, can I have one of your AIDS? Sure, here you go. Boys, look, here's your bus, now get your tiny ass in the bus. Well, since they went to school and do stupid work and eat crappy lunch. Looks like I have TV to do, I will watch the racist news. Hello, jackasses, I am Bob Bob, again, since you dumbies don't remember me, and ways, I got breaking news, really 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 bad news. A different human creatures called whiteboards, the giant hand always draw them with a huge pencil every time they appear, and they are taking over the world, ad news. Isn't it? Oh. You scare there. Out of me, when the evil huge hand appear you. Step aside bitch. Hey, you got the same voice as me, and this is my show. Not you, bitch. I said step aside you gay ass. Oh my god, I killed him, by touching him, and when I did, he fell down, his body turned into blood. Maybe my hand is my weapon to destroy all color people to take over the world. Hey bitches, if you are watch this piece of crap TV, you will die like in second or minutes. By touching our sexy white hands, so enjoy your last life of doing nothing but lazy cry. Ha 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 Victory shall be mine. <laughs> Same what he said, by the way, I am Pian Han. Why you lazy sucker? Oh dear lord, the whiteboard. I can't believe they exist. Me and Jonathan gotta save the world. Okay, now we can learn about George Washington. What the heck, you scared me, jeez. My bad. Mrs. Women, can I take Jonathan, it's in Porton. No, kids don't go with strangers, because I don't know who you are, now you leave Jonathan alone, or I will call the big bad wolf, no go. Oh look, three millions of dollars, it will be yours if you can catch before someone else. Go run to the bathroom and look harder. Oh my god, three millions, I will be rich as heck. I will be rich, yay 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 yay. It will be chance if me and you will run before she comes back. Crap, I can't find three millions of dollars, maybe he lie, and where is Jonathan? Jonathan is went with that stranger. Oh what the? <laughs> that jackass went with my student, I need to call with police, darn my life. Um, bookie. Why are we running like the wind? Because we gotta save the world, so we can be heroes and get a lot of money. Why, so you can have money, cause you're poor as hell? Well, that's one of them, and I want to be famous, and take a picture and post it all over the internet, and money, and we will kill whiteboard, come on, there is no time to lose. Oh no 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 no, don't kill me, I didn't do anything, why did I dissever, what did I do? And who are you? You faggots, you are going to die, you gay, my name is Faceless Bad Words, 
I swear a lot you dick. Good luck in hell when I touch you with my damn sexy finger. Goodbye. Wah 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 My first mission is freaking complete. Yeah? Holy moly of graps. When I touch a bad guy, he turn into blood. My hand is so powerful, I gotta tell Bookie. No need to tell me, I heard everything. We need to wipe all the whiteboard. Come on Jonathan, we got to stop them, or they will kill all color people and take over the world. Let's go. Jonathan, Jonathan and Bookie, and Bookie, are, Bookie on the are on the rescue. Thank you Lord for bringing this delicious color human being. Shut up asshole, I'm not tasty to you, you're darn wrong. Any last words? Yes, you look like me, same voice, we are look alike, and you're uglier than me, and also, my hands will touch you and turn into blood like whiteboards do. Wait, what did you say? Oh my yes, I did it, he's dead. Oh yeah 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 Now let's do other whiteboard. Holy crap, they're a mass of blood. Jesus freaking Christ, blood, blah 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 blah. Cuz, just cuz. Where are you, whiteboard? I know you are around. Come on, show yourself. I will do bad stuff if you don't show yourself. Holy hell, you look just like me, but uglier. Darn my life. Darn my life. Darn your life. Darn our lives. No, darn my life, you dickhole. Shut up, dirt ass, I'm Bookie, and you're fake Bookie, go to hell, I'm Bookie, and you're plastic Bookie, I'm not made of plastic, you stupid dumb ass, I'm made out of water and blood, go to first grade, because you are such a complete retard. No. <laughs> Hello Mrs. Ray, why are you home early? Holy. Are you going to kill me? No, I want to say I'm sorry that I robbed you and I said that I'm going to kill you. Can you forgive me? Yes, I can forgive you. That's great. Why are you out of jail early? Because when I heard their whiteboard problem, cops sent us free that early. At least I've been here almost a week instead of month. Anyways, where is the piece of crap bookie? Oh, I got some sad news to tell you that, your husband Bookie is sadly passed away yesterday because he was touched by whiteboard, and now he turned into blood. Oh my god. I know, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank god Bookie is finally dead, he is the pain in the ass for 8 decades, and now, since he's dead, I will party hard, and I will say, I'm free, no more Bookie. What? Why would you say that to your own husband? Because Bookie is such a dick, and I'm glad I said that. Now will you excuse me, I will bury him, pee on his grave, and dance on it. Toodles. What the hell is wrong with Bookie's wife? Hello, males and females. My name is Baton. I will talk about Bookie's life. He was a good man, sometimes a bad man. It goes back in 1947, when he was 17. He called his father, a dick because his father was a child abuser. That was he was cruel and rude, ever since his father and his mother died in 1957. He said he was free and got out of his house, and have a happy life with his wife, which she was an asshole, and still an asshole because she is a stupid bitch. She was being mean to Bookie, and ruined his life, poor Bookie. And they keep divorce and divorce. The first divorce is 1977, and the last divorce is 2017, since they always remarry, you know it keeps wasting money. Come on, hurry the hell up you slow poker, you've been held my turn for like an hour, I don't have all day you piece of crap, and you're stupid. I know you're waiting, you're doing a good job, just please wait for a minute. No. You, no step side now. Wah wah. Bookie is dead. Bookie is dead. Bookie is dead. Bookie is dead. Bookie is finally freaking 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 dead 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 dead. Yay yay. 
How could you miss his ray?